Hey guys, Marissa at KitchenTableStamper.com. Today we are on video number three out of four in our Peaceful Deer stamp -a stack We're going to make this card. Our stamp -a stack makes two of this card. If you missed the previous videos, this was video number two. The stamp -a stack makes two of this card. Video number one, our stamp -a stack makes three of this card. And Video number four is coming soon. Our stamp -a stack makes two of this card. So it's a four video series. It's one stamp -a stack and it's featuring our two wonder recipes. And wonder recipes are one sheet wonders. Cut your designer series paper according to the template, deal out the pieces and make lots of cards super fast. Now our wonder recipe number 14 was the one that we used in video number two. It's a little bit different from my usual stamp -a stacks because we're using two wonder recipes. So if you missed cutting the paper, check out video number one where we cut our wonder recipe number eight and video number two where we cut our um, wonder recipe number 14. So we want these pieces that are left from wonder recipe number eight for this design and there is an optional class packet. So there's a Peaceful Deer stamp -a stack packet in the Kitchen Table Stamper store while supplies last. KitchenTableStamper.com slash shop. In the packet you have some of these wonderful snowflakes. You'll get six of them and we need one for each of these cards. So I'm just going to pop these out and I like to just hold the delicate little snowflake and pull the paper until I hear the connecting paper break. Did you hear a little snap? That's when you know that it's free of the outside and then you can just pull it right out. Super simple. Let me pop out this other one for our second copy. Now you can save this and use it with other punches and dies. It's got this beautiful pearl finish. So pretty. And then in your kit you'll have two card kits for this design. And we did all of our background stamping in video number one. So I went ahead and stamped my three and three quarters by five inch piece using Memento Tuxedo Black and the Festive Foliage. And I did that already for both cards. The measurements and everything will be on the project sheet. So don't scramble. We'll have it all printable for you. Just click under the video where it says project details here. If you're on YouTube, follow back to the blog. And then underneath the blog, uh, underneath the embedded video on the blog, you'll see a link that says, get your project sheet here. It's the Oh What Fun Merry Christmas project sheet here. And right underneath that same embedded video, you'll find a link for the printable wonder recipe number eight and the printable wonder recipe number 14. So you can print those little cutting diagrams and use them again and again and again. It's a great head start for card making. So our card bases for this one are Sahara Sand and they're eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter. We're going to glue the three and a quarter by five inch. We're gonna glue the three and three quarters by five inch pieces. I'm gonna use some liquid glue for this and while, while I'm gluing the stamped background, we're also going to do our designer series paper. So we're gonna mix our designer series papers. We want one tall, one short, one tall, one short. We're gonna glue them down, kind of toggled. I love this stamp -a stack It's very classic colors uh, with really fun, trendy patterns and kind of a modern design. It's kind of a modern classic. Very sparkly with the gold foil and the rhinestones. It's just been so much fun to make these cards. Let me glue down this other set of designer series paper, same way, but opposite. Now in your kit, we've got these little clipped corner rectangles. These are cut from basic black and we cut them for you using the Hippo and Friends die set. It's the second largest of this clipped rectangle or clipped corner rectangles. And we're gonna adhere them on to the pretty far right of center using liquid glue. And then um, a little above center top to bottom and right of center, right to left. 
Then we're gonna go in with our snowflakes. Let's get those glued down. And I like to dot just a little bit of glue on each of the long arms, just a tiny little bit at the very ends, and then a nice generous bit in the center. So good. Let's do some ribbon now. We're gonna do that same kind of ribbon treatment we've done in video number one and number two, where we're gonna just fold a loop across the front of the card. Again, you're gonna need maybe about, about eight and a half or nine inches here. And then we're gonna adhere it down with tear and tape. Right, we've got our ribbons tacked down. Now it is time to do some stamping. Let's slide that aside for just a second. We've got two white punch outs here and we're gonna stamp the background. I punched these ahead of time for the kit using the rectangle postage. And then we've got two banners. This is Sahara Seed and we cut those banners using the Give it a whirl dies. The hearts are also from Give it a whirl. Let's grab those and you'll find those in the little packet inside your kit already done for you. Don't lose the little ones. We need the little bit bigger one for this project. Let's get some ink and Stampin' Pairs mat and do some stampin'. All right, I've got Merry Christmas from the Peaceful Deer stamp set. We're also gonna use this fun little um, snow flurry. We're gonna ink up and tuxedo black. Stamp Merry Christmas on the little banner. Then we need a little bit of grid paper here. Protect our surface because we're going to stamp off the edges of our postage rectangle. And our deer has a little flurry of snow behind. I love that. Slide those aside for a minute. Our card kit had half sheets of Whisper White and quarter sheet of Sahara Sand. We're going to use this white for our deer. I love this deer. We're going to ink it up in real red and stamp and it is going to give us the most beautiful real red deer with a scripty oh what fun in white is that just not the coolest stamp ever now the trees we're going to do a large tree there's one tall one we're going to ink that up now this is one for each card i'm only doing one for the video by the magic of television i have another set already prepared we're gonna do the tall tree and then the little um, arrangement of two small trees. Put that up here and just use some of this scrap. I'm gonna clear away the ink pads before I put my projects in it. I'm notorious. All right, I've already cut and punched one set. Let's go ahead and cut out and punch the second set. We can punch our little deer. Just the sweetest image ever. I love this. And I love me a punch bundle. It makes things so easy. I'm gonna cut out my two, my second set of trees, and then I'll meet you right back here and we'll get this card finished up. All right, I'm back with my little deers. Let's get this card put together, shall we? All right, the postage stamp is going to get some liquid glue and it's gonna go over the ribbon, so be generous. And we'll center it right in the clipped corner rectangle. Next, the tree, the large one. Let's get that on with some multi-purpose liquid glue too. Then our little trees, there's two together here. We're gonna add those. 
putting these on with dimensionals. And Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas will go on with some dimensionals and same with the little hearts. So let's get some dimensionals on those. Got Merry Christmas and we'll pop the little heart so that the end of it is under the banner. Cutie, then our deer. Deer goes on with dimensionals too. And the same with this copy. Let's get it caught up. There it is. And now it's time for the perfect little finishing touch. We've got our real red rhinestones. I just love the sparkle. And we're going to add them three kind of just like floating up from our heart. There it is. Merry Christmas card number three in our Peaceful Deer Stamp Stat class. If you've got any questions about the class, email marissa at kitchentablestamper.com to see if there are still Peaceful Deer Stamp Stack packets available in the Kitchen Table Stamper store. Buzz over to kitchentablestamper.com slash shop. You can filter in the right-hand side. There's a little um, product filter. Change that to class packets, and you'll see right at a glance if there's any of these packets left. To shop Stampin' Up! 24-7, buzz over to marissaalvarez.stampinup.net. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in video number four, where we'll finish up this Stampa stack with the adorable little wishing you a wonderful year and friendships dear card. Thanks for being about a, a part of the class. I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.